Neo has been very volatile lately, so does it mean it has become a risky stock to own? Let's explore in this video what is going on with Neo these days. What are the factors that make it so volatile? Are they doing anything to mitigate these risks? And at the end, my perspective, if this is the right time to buy, sell or wait. Hi, my name is Sunny and I make content that affect a common man financially. So let's dive into today's topic, Neo Risky Stock. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to it alongside smashing that like button as that will help me with the YouTube algorithm, which of course will be highly appreciated. I know the stock market has been on downward trend for a while now, but this Chinese EV maker has got more negative news to cater to. Neo has been on the negative slope for some time and closed lower on last Friday, but when it opened Monday morning, it sank another 7% reaching almost $13.5 a share. Now if you look back last 5 days, it's down almost 20% and if you go back a year to date, it has lost almost 58% in shareholder wealth. You really need to go back 5 years to see a decent return of 40%. This will illustrate the level of value destruction in the stock. I know they are in the business of making EVs in China where their government is supporting them immensely while on track to be Chinese version of Tesla. There are so many external factors at play which makes them even more vulnerable to stock volatility. A company's debt and its ability to pay in time is not the only risk a business can face. There are other factors that can put it in a very precarious situation. NEO does have debt, but its much more liquid assets does cover it just in case. There are two major reasons behind this huge volatility in the stock. One is the geopolitical scenario and the other being the increasing interest rate environment. Just as a recap, SEC has named numerous potential Chinese stocks for delisting as they are not in compliance with Holdings in Foreign Companies Accountable Act. This act requires companies controlled or owned by foreign governments to be inspected by Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, but the Chinese government is not allowing their companies to do so, hence non-compliance, which can potentially have risk of delisting from US exchanges. Now with increasing inflation worldwide, there are signs that central banks are increasing interest rates which normally is not a very good sign for valuation of growth stocks. Therefore, it is facing multiple headwinds on top of the geopolitical risks. We all understand that there is not much they can do as far as geopolitical scenario is concerned, but definitely they are trying their best to mitigate the risk it might face. NEO recently got approval for its Singapore listing just as a backup whereas they already have got a dual listing on Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Initially, they were not part of the list published by SEC for possible delisting from American exchanges, but last week, they were added on to it, which increased the wave of selling in the stock. Don't get me wrong, these secondary listings in Hong Kong and Singapore will only help the shareholders up to a certain extent because both of them don't bring what NASDAQ brings to the table. As far as increasing interest rates are concerned, there is not much they can do either because recent shutdowns in China because of COVID is definitely adding on to their problems. I have said it many times and let me take the liberty of saying it again. Stock investing is not for everybody and when you have a Chinese stock, definitely it increases the level of complexity. Personally, I have never been a big fan of Chinese stocks in general because they often bring geopolitical and regulatory risks and I am not comfortable with it. But NEO has been an exception because of two reasons, the industry they are in and their position in it which is next to Tesla in China. That is exactly the reason why it is the only Chinese company in my portfolio but have always maintained a limited proportionate exposure in comparison to Tesla. Secondly, I don't buy or sell any stock just based on the news. I buy it with a plan in place and try to be consistent with a long-term investment horizon. Therefore, based on what I believe in, this should be the perfect time to double down and buy more of it. But as a matter of fact, I would just wait and let the increasing interest rates sink in 
because why buy now when you can get it lot cheaper in the near future? I hope it makes sense as I'm just a random guy on YouTube having an opinion and not even a financial advisor. Please consult one before you invest. If you have found value in the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.